I don't know if you remember, but I did a video a few weeks ago about how certain foreigners who got stuck in the U.S. due to the coronavirus pandemic may become U.S. tax residents and liable for U.S. income tax on their worldwide income. And basically, this happens because even if you're not a U.S. citizen and you're not a green card holder, you can become a U.S. tax resident simply by spending too much time in the U.S. This is through something that's called the Substantial Presence Test. The Substantial Presence Test works like this. If you want to find out if you meet the Substantial te Presence Test and are therefore a U.S. tax resident for, for uh, 2020, you would first find out how many days you spent in the U.S. during 2020. If it's 31 days or more, um, then you would add up all the days from 2020, a third of the days from 2019, and a sixth of the days from uh, 2018. If that number equals 183 days or more, congratulations, you've become a U.S. tax resident. You're liable for the US, to the U.S. Uh, for taxes on your worldwide income. You need to file a U.S. income tax return, report your foreign bank accounts, all that nonsense. Um, now, a lot of, uh, now, a lot of people who just vacation in the U.S. might think, well, you know, this is unconcerning, but you'd be surprised how many people really push the limits of this substantial presence test on a yearly basis. I mean, there's a lot of people that have vacation homes in the U.S. and try to max out the time that they can spend in the U.S. without becoming a, um, a U.S. tax resident. There's a lot of business people that spend a lot of time in the U.S. That, that also track these days very carefully so as not to become a U.S. tax resident. And one of the things that's happened with the coronavirus pandemic is a lot of these people, you know, have their days planned out pretty strategically for the year in the United States. Then boom, here comes coronavirus and they're stuck in the U.S. Um, whether that be because they're sick with coronavirus or simply that they were locked down in the U.S., they can't get flights back to where they were going, the country they were going to locked down, whatever the reason being, a lot of foreign people got stuck in the U.S. and couldn't get out. And a lot of them are going to be considered U.S. tax residents through the substantial presence test, obviously something you don't want um, and, and you want to try to avoid if you can. Well, Luckily, the IRS uh, has now come out with um, some guidance where they're going to give people a break. And basically what the IRS has said is, listen, if you got stuck in the U.S. due to coronavirus, um, you can exclude 60 days, up to 60 days of presence in the United States from your uh, 2020 days for purposes of the substantial presence test. And so basically the way this works is you have to pick 60 days starting after February 1st and before April 1st of 2020. Uh, and then basically, so let's say you spent um, a total of, I don't know, 80 days in the United States in, in, in uh, 2020, uh, you could reduce these that number by these 60 days and you'd be down to 20 days, which could help you avoid the substantial presence test. Um, personally, I think that there's gonna, the IRS is gonna need to do more than just this 60 day window. Uh, you know, we're about 60 days into these lockdowns and everything with the coronavirus now. And you know, the world is, is only very slowly resuming. I mean, a lot of countries still have the borders closed. They're only letting citizens in. Um, travel is still severely locked down. Um, so I think they're going to need to expand this guidance, you know, maybe to 90 or 120 days, but this is better than nothing. So look, if you're a foreigner that has got stuck in the U.S. due to coronavirus and you are concerned that, um, you know, you may become a U.S. tax resident due to the substantial presence test, uh, there are various strategies uh, in addition to um, this latest IRS guidance where you can exclude these 60 days. There's something called the Closer Connection um, test where if you've spent less than 183 days in, in the U.S. Uh, in 2020, we can apply and claim that you have a closer connection to, to another country, assuming that you do. Um, there's also some treaty uh, tiebreaker rules that might be able to help you. The point being you have options, but this is uh, getting, get, you know, spending too many days in the U.S. and accidentally becoming a tax resident is something that's going to affect more people this year than I think it has in any other year. So if you need help figuring out uh, if you're a U.S. tax resident and how to get out of being a U.S. tax resident, Esquire Group can help. Check us out online, www.esquiregroup.com. 
or drop us an email at info at esquiregroup.com.